Good morning, everyone. We're about to start Stretch and Pray today on um, the most beautiful day. It's really warm. I even, I'm in shorts, but I could be in a t-shirt. It's so warm outside. Hope you're doing well. Um, this is your countdown. We're going to start in one minute. Um, so you've got one minute to find yourself a bit of space. Hope you're doing well um, on this lovely sunny day. Um, we're going to just be praying for the world, praying for ourselves, praying for the people close to us, that sort of thing. And, um, and we're going to share a bit of scripture together and we're going to stretch our bodies out. It is such a beautiful day um, today and it's great that we can come together and spend some time praying together and reading the Bible just for 10 minutes. Good morning Tom, good to see you. If you've just joined in, um, if you're joining us then say hello to me because um, I'd love to kind of say hello back and pray for the people who say hello as well. So. Um, morning everyone, great to see that the numbers are going up and people are joining in. Um, we're going to start in about 30 seconds, so I'll give you a few more people a chance to log in. Um, we're going to share a bit of scripture together, we're going to stretch our bodies and we're going to pray this morning. I'm outside, it's so warm outside today. Um, it's a, I think it might be a sun cream day today, so um, so if you're heading out for your one bit of exercise then, um, then put the sun cream on and enjoy the beauty of God's creation today. Um, the bit that I'm going to share today from the Bible I'll share now at the beginning, which is in Isaiah 40, and it says um, that, well, where do I start? He says, why do you complain, Jacob? Why do you say, Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, my cause is disregarded by my God? Do you not know, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth? He will not grow tired and weary and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So encouraged by that word, and I'll be unpacking it a little bit for a few seconds at the end. But let's get started. Morning, everyone. If you're joining in, please say hello at the bottom, make a little comment, that would be great. Um, let's get started. Okay, I'll just lift this up so you can see my head. Great. Um, so as we start, let's start by just lifting our praises to God this morning. You might be able to hear the birds in the background here, but think of things that you can thank God for this morning. What are you thankful for? And thank God for those things. Fill your lungs with air. A new morning, a new week. Well, the second day of the week. And a beautiful day in that. Great. Just going to move this down. We're going to do some stuff a bit more active today. So the first thing that we're going to do is walking along. You don't need much space, but we're just going to lift our toe and come down. So stretching our foot and walking along. So as we're doing this, I'll turn around and come back as we're doing this. Just pray for the places you normally walk along each day. Where do you normally walk? Who do you normally see? Stretching out the back of your legs each time. I'm going to come closer to the screen. Morning Hannah Limbach, morning Graham, good to see you. Hope Swaffham's doing well. That's good, we're going to lunge down, lunging forward and coming back up. As we do this, let's pray for those people, we've heard loads at the moment about domestic violence. I want you to pray for those people who are involved in domestic violence, both the people who are doing it and the people receiving it, and the children involved in that as well. Let's 
you're just stretching out hold hold this position at the bottom stretching out here along your quads and then coming back up and again hold this position stretching out here along your quads who else have we got morning morning naomi morning sue good to see you okay we're going to do that one more time you can either stand like this and stretch out like this or you go down into this position and stretching across and back i want you to pray for our world think of whichever country you want not england but praying for that country i was thinking of india personally as i looked on the news a few days ago and saw craziness going on there That's good. We're going to go up tall and we're going to stretch down and we're going to touch our toes. So coming up tall, stretching down, touching our toes. As we're doing that, let's pray for the tiny people, for the smallest ones, for the children in our country and in our world. Really slowly coming back up. We're going to do that one more time. So coming up and back down. Stretching our back. That's so good. Morning, Laura. Good to see you here. Okay, I'm going to put the this up a little bit more. Great. We're going to stretch out our back now like this. And as we do that, pushing forward, I want you to pray for those people who are the closest to you, who are in your circle of care. Bring them before you and before God. Great, and we're going to lift up our arms behind us. And as we're lifting behind, I want you to pray for things. Say sorry to God for things in the past that you've done wrong. We're going to stretch our shoulders now. Coming up, back and down. Morning, Latha. Good to see you. Just coming up, back and down. And as we stretch our shoulders, let's pray for our government, particularly pray for Boris Johnson this morning. For healing over him and for real wisdom over our government as they lead our country. Great. With our head looking to the left, praying for our neighbours on our left, our neighbours on our right as we look to the right. Um, but as we do that as well, I pray that God would give us wisdom how we can be a blessing to the people around us. Great, and we're going to just look down and look up. And as we do that, I want you to pray for your mind today. Um, it says in the Bible, it says, fix your mind um, on heavenly things, not on earthly things. Um, on things above, not on earthly things. And so uh, it says it in Colossians. So just pray for your mind, that your mind will be fixed on things above, not on earthly things today. And looking down.
good. We're going to do a couple more stretches. So the first one, we're going to, we need a wall. Morning, Joy, good to see you. We need a wall, so we're going to push against the wall. As you do that, I want you to pray for the people who are finding this is a tremendous struggle. Um, I got a text from someone this morning who's obviously finding it really difficult. Um, and I think all of us are in some way or another. But pray for those people who are finding this a particular struggle. It's a, a wall to push against and it's really tough. So we're pushing against the wall. We're going to be stretching out our backs of our legs. And go the other leg. That's great. I'm going to share just a little bit of scripture with us, with you. Um, on this beautiful day, it says this. Why do you complain, Jacob? Why do you say, Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord? My cause is disregarded by my God. Do you not know, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. Listen to this. If you're feeling weary this morning, listen to this. It says, he gives strength to the weary and he increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. I love the idea that as we hope in God, as we put our hope in him, not in anything else but in him, he will renew our strength. Something within us will rise up. And he will renew our strength and we'll be able to keep going. And it says, so for some of us, we'll be able to run and not grow weary. But for some of us, we'll just be able to walk and not be faint. Um, and I don't know which one that is for you today. But, but as we hope in the Lord, he will renew our strength. So I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for all the people who have tuned in and signed in um, as well. So God, thank you so much for today. Thank you for the beauty of your creation, but I thank you also for that promise that we can hold on today, that as we hope in you, as we put our hope in you, you'll give us new strength and you'll help us to soar and rise above it and we'll be able to run or we'll be able to walk and we won't be faint. God, thank you for that. I pray for every person who is tuning in and watching this today, particularly for Tom, for Hannah, for Graham, for Naomi, for Sue, for Lara, for Latha, and for joy. God, pour your blessing on those people. God, bless them, we pray, and fill them with your spirit. Help them to soar above it in your strength as they hope in you today. And we pray for our country, God. We particularly bring before you Boris Johnson, that you would draw him to you. God, that he would meet with you in hospital, but your healing hand would be upon him as well. And we pray for great godly wisdom as the government lead our country. And God, we pray for healing over our nation and over our world as well, that you'd have mercy on us and you'd heal our, our country, but you would bring good out of this situation as well, and that your kingdom would come in greater measure as a result of all that's gone through. God bless this day and bless these people who are receiving this today, we pray. Amen. Thanks so much, everyone. There's loads that the Sports Factory are doing today, so join in with us, get in touch, um, and thanks for tuning in. Such an encouragement for us. Have an amazing day. And remember to hope in the Lord today. See you later. Bye.